There they are. Right there. So yeah, that's not a lot. That's not a lot. I hope they have some more in the floor. Let's hope. Hello everyone, and I'm going to apologize for the audio for two reasons. One, I'm currently sick, and it's mainly affecting my throat, so if I sound sick, I am. I just want to get this done now so that I'm fresh on the topic, and I got a lot of pops, so I'm not going to waste any more time. Went to four stores, GameStop, Hot Topic, Box Lunch, and even a local comic book store of mine. So anyway, I'm going to get started with the pops, because... This is easily, so far, the most pops I've ever shown in a video. We're gonna start off with one that I got from GameStop, and that's... Johnny Cash. Specifically, Johnny Cash, I think the box says it's from Folsom Prison, which is a very popular show that he did back in the day, and for those who don't know, Johnny Cash is a really famous country singer, and he sadly passed away about 15 years ago, but this was kind of a last minute grab. Like, I didn't grab it immediately when he was announced. This was kind of a now or never, so it's just like, you know what, since I see this one, cause let me go to the back for him. They have two, his Folsom Prison and then his iconic Men in Black pose. And honestly, I wanted the Folsom Prison look more cause I kind of like, not only do I like the guitar, but I like his outfit with the mix of black and white. But I know some people would like both. But anyway, let's open them up. Oh, look at here. Another fun thing with the tabs. Top says live from Folsom State Prison and the bottom says Johnny Cash. So that's actually really cool. So starting off, um, good paint job and I know this pop's a bit older, like it came out like April or May or something, but I think f I, this is a good paint job for now. Um, now seeing the back of the hair, I'm liking this pop a lot more because he always has this like thing with the back of his hair. And um, yeah, I really like how it looks. I like the guitar and guitar paint jobs aren't always perfect, but with this one, I'll give a pass because they're not always perfect. Like I think when it, if it's involved with the face, I'll have a bigger issue with it, but it's not an issue with me in this time. And you can see he has his strap holding the guitar. And yeah, I just, I like Johnny Cash and I think this pop looks really good. So I'm really happy that I could get it. Okay, next up, I actually got very recently and this is one I've really wanted to get. And I'm gonna tell you now, the rest of the pops that I'm mentioning I wanted the day since they were announced. So these are ones that I'm excited to talk about. Starting with Luke Spiller, who is the lead singer of The Struts, and they're a newer rock band. And I've seen them in concert three times, one on their own, and then the others, they opened for both Guns N' Roses and Foo Fighters. And they have, they're promoting one of their albums, which is Young and Dangerous. and. I think that's their newest album, but anyway, I really like the Struts. They, and I think Luke Spiller's voice is probably my favorite lead vocals ever. He just has such an enthusiastic Freddie Mercury-ish voice, which makes sense because he was heavily inspired by Freddie Mercury. But anyway, let's open up. Okay, so immediately I love the hair. like. This is probably the best hair I've seen on a pop. Like it's all curvy and bumpy, shows like the detail of each strand of hair. It's amazing. Like, once again, the, one of the best hair I've seen in a pop. Uh, face is basic, but you don't need to do that with most singers since they're really recognizable. The finger looks good, the mic looks good. I don't see a single bad paint job with his outfit. I think the outfit looks really good. Same goes for the gold shoes, and so happy I was able to get him. Uh, it's kind of early, so they're gonna restock soon, I bet, but I really wanted him now, and I'm so glad I could have Luke Spiller, because if you're interested in rock, like Queen and such, I say go listen to the Struts, they're amazing. Now, for the longest time, this was top of the list of pop that I wanted the most this year, and that was 
Miles Morales from Into the Spider-Verse. He's a PX Previews exclusive, so you're mostly going to find him in a local comic book shop like I did. And the difference is he's wearing his iconic hoodie and suit from the movie, and he's in a jumping pose. And I'll admit, the box art, I didn't think he looked all that cool with his pose, but if you look in here, his pose looks much cooler, like he's actually leaping out. And um, go to the back. They still promote the other um, pops from the first line, so they don't mention Spider-Ham or any of those other ones, but I think it's all right, because I just love this pop and I love the movie, so let's open up. And as you can see in here, if you kind of can, he comes with a stand, so let's grab that. Before I put the stand on him, I kind of want to look at the figure itself. Yeah, I instantly love this pop, because um, not only do I love Into the Spider-Verse, but I'm a sucker for hoodies and the colors red and black so i see this outfit and i'm like it's the coolest most badass superhero outfit in existence but that's just me being a sucker with the colors and i say the paint job is pretty good um at least like the stamp here is a little off as you can see it's not center but at least they didn't mess up with the logo on his chest which is perfect so yeah you can have him on his own and he has a hole in the back so we're going to put this on him. And with that, he can now stand. So it does look like he's leaping in the air. And no, I just love this pop. I've wanted this for so long. Because I think he was announced first even before these other pops that I mentioned have been announced. So worth the wait. Love Spider-Verse. Love this pop. So happy to have this. Okay, now these two pops I actually got today. Today is Tuesday, November 26th. Yeah, I got these two pops today from both Hot Topic and Box Lunch, and that's Zim and Gur. Now, for, I think I've mentioned this before, but I love Invader Zim. It's like, with most Nickelodeon shows, it's random. The only difference with this one is it mixed dark humor like it could have been it could be very disturbing not like kids can't watch it but it was, certainly was darker compared to most kids shows at the time and it's a mix of dark humor and like surreal humor like not like in the word of spongebob it's just kind of like what the heck am i watching kind of humor but could be the the writers or the creator but they somehow blended it together to not only make something good, but great. Like, Invader Zim has quite the following, especially with the new movie, Enter the Florpus, coming out on Netflix. So, as I saw this one, I really wanted it, and I had some, like, second thoughts about this, but I'm gonna get to why when I open the pop, but there was just one more at my local one, so I'm so glad they had one so I could get it. It does come with a stand, but I'm gonna hold this just so I can look at it now and of course this is Zim he is the main character and he's an alien trying to conquer the earth but always fails and um my disappointment or not really disappointment because I'm starting to really like this but my downside was I own Zim and Gur on the pig because we finally got a Zim pop and why I'm disappointed or I should say disappointed why I was disappointed was because he has the same face on the right, just this angry eyebrows down, showing the teeth. The only difference is Gur isn't on his head pulling his antenna. So now that I look at it, it feels so good to finally have Zim on his own because I can't take him out of the pig. So having Zim on his own as a figure itself, it's like a dream come true because they've only made Gur this entire time. Speaking of Gur, so cute to finally have an itty bitty little Gur. He's not in his dog outfit. He looks like Gur. And I'll even admit, with the ride, my my disappointment was the legs. They're impossible to change because if you look at the show, he doesn't have legs. He has feet, but they're like floating above his body. So it'd be 
nearly impossible to turn on the pup form, but it's less distracting here because in the ride, his legs look more thick and it's distracting. But here, I feel like they pulled it off well. So Zim and Gur together. Another pup that has a little buddy because I have Snoopy and Woodstock and Squirrel Girl. So another one to add. And of course, it's super adorable. So I'm actually really glad they still had one more because I really want Invader Zim and Gur. So, so happy that I could have these two. And now we have the big one. And I got this at Box Lunch. You probably know what I'm talking about. And let me grab it out of the back because they stuffed it in. There we go, it's out. And that is... Wow, so big. Oh. And that is the glow-in-the-dark Dragon Maleficent. Now, I'll start off by saying Sleeping Beauty isn't one of my favorite isn't one of my favorite Disney movies, but I will admit that Maleficent was more than an awesome villain. She was super evil and intimidating, and of course, one of the most memorable parts of the movie was the end, where she turns into a dragon, and the prince has to stop her. So they did already release a Maleficent dragon as a part of the Disney box. I think the type was villains like this, and it was just her. Still awesome. I'm not a collector of boxes, so I really wanted that one, but the pop was $100 at the time. This was announced literally a week from when I make this video. I wanted this so badly, and I am so happy that I went to my box lunch early. I got there an hour early before it opened, and I was able to get one. I'm so happy because Another thing to add, I'm not a big collector of six inch pops, um, but this was just so awesome that I wanted it, but enough stalling, let's open this up. Oh, there's a thing on the tag. And now, oh prince, you shall deal with me. Ooh, we get another quote, so that's two and one. Great. Now shall you deal with me, oh prince, and all the powers of hell. Okay, I love this pop. I love it. Out of the box, looking at it now, I love this. The fire base surrounding the dragon. This is all glow in the dark, by the way. Um, one thing I didn't notice is this fire is separated from the base, so it's like stuck in her mouth. So I'm gonna try not to grab that because I don't want to break it off. And not only is this fire glow in the dark, but apparently the eyes, the nose, and the mouth are to really make her look intimidating. And yeah, it is awesome. This one already might be one of my favorite pops of the year. It is so amazing. And I'll have to get clips of the glow in the dark, but it's the morning, so I'm gonna have to wait, but I'll show you guys what it looks like when it glows in the dark. And with that, that is my finds for this video. I am so glad to have all of these. Luke Spiller, Miles Morales, and Maleficent were such high wants that I wanted them the day they were released. And I'm so happy with how they look. Zim and Gurr look amazing. Johnny Cash looks really good. And this is probably one of my favorite finds ever. And I'm so glad I could wait all this time to make a video and show them all together. So once again, apologies for the sickness and the bad audio, but I'm so glad to finally talk about these five together. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. Consider subscribing for more Funko unboxings as well as other content, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <coughs>